Hey guys, come pack with a travel with Miko gang to the Dominican Republic for a five day trip. I'm always getting questioned, how do you travel with kids solo? And how do you guys even pack for the three of you? And if most of you guys don't know, I only travel with a carry on. So my kids are at an age where they're actually able to carry on their own carry on bag. So they don't need my assistance that much. So now I'm able to bring so much more now that they're my little helpers because before I used to have to carry three bags and I'm only one person and I would have to bring a car seat so it was just a lot but now they're bigger Cameron is four Amaya is seven they can wheel on their own carry-on bag and they can bring their own little personal bag which is very helpful um, so I'm going to share with you guys what we actually pack in our entertainment bag, what do they do on the plane, and what do I actually pack in your carry-on bag. So let's get started. So quick little preview of the things that I pack in Amaya's bag, which I'll show you how all this fits in her personal bag. So we are about to pack Amaya's entertainment bag for the plane. This is her personal bag, not her carry-on bag. So she wheels on her carry-on bag. Every airline has different regulations and rules, and it also depends on which kind of ticket you actually purchase because some airlines you actually have to purchase a carry-on. We are flying with JetBlue, and we have um, kind of upgraded ticket where you're actually able to bring a carry-on bag and a personal bag. So I try to pack really light for this bag because Amaya is going to carry this on her backpack and she's a little person she's a three foot person so you know we don't want it to be too heavy because guess who's going to be carrying the bag if she doesn't want to carry the bag me right so that's why we try to pack as light as possible but as much as possible and before I even pack this bag we actually did a little target run and we got a lot of pack and goes. So these are kind of like pre-made entertainment books. And some of them are only a dollar. Some of them are only three dollars. I actually have a receipt. And for Cameron and Amaya, I only spent $60 in Target for entertainment for them. And one major tip I always tell people when you are packing these bags is to pack attentionally with perhaps you might even lose these toys, these knickknacks, because as a single mom on the go, there's so much going on. And I can't tell you how many times we lost my kids' favorite stuffed animal, their favorite blanket, and etc. So I just learned just to pack things that my kids don't really care about, but they'll still be entertained while on the go. So make sure you're not packing your kid's favorite something. And if you are, make sure it's only one favorite toy and keep it close to them. Do a little buddy check. Literally, my kids have a favorite blankie they never leave the house without. So we're constantly doing like blanket checks like before the plane, off the plane, because literally we've lost so many things. And it's so heartbreaking to your kid and it can literally make or break your entire trip literally because we lost the stuffed animal once before and yeah it didn't go well the whole time my daughter's like my stuffed animal it's not here anymore so definitely don't do that don't run into trouble just buy toys that you can end up throwing away like especially after these pack and goes i like it because by the end of our trip our bag actually gets lighter we can throw these out and then we can actually pack souvenirs <laughs> so it's always a, a situation where we can unpack and repack, which I love. So let's get started. Here are some coloring books. And like I said, the packing goes really easy. They're really lightweight. We got some crayons. So if you have two kids, make sure you do um, a pack of crayons in each bag. I don't have my kids share anything because my kids are really good at sharing, but in reality, kids don't like to share. So just to make your life easier and 
my life easier. I pack two of everything. They have familiar stuff just so one doesn't get jealous and they don't have to share crayons or whatever it is. So just to make your life easier, try to get two of everything. One of these things. <laughs> Shelly things. She loves little LOL dolls, so we put those in here. Um, I love Play-Doh. Play-Doh is a lot of fun on the plane. Um, I try to pack enough entertainment for the plane ride there. Um, if it's a long car ride as well when we get off the plane and also coming back home. So I don't really let them touch their entertainment bag when we are on vacation. I try to you know get them out doing activities while we are on vacation so this bag is literally strictly only for the plane car that's it obviously like her little lol dolls you can play with them at any time so if we are on the beach or something by all means i let her play with them but for the coloring books you know you can color all the pages if you're uh, your kid's a fast color artist whatever you know so yeah, I make them only play with this bag when we're traveling. I also pack a lot of snacks. Snacks are key to kids behaving on the plane. Especially, I have this little Kinder Egg and these little chocolate sticks. So I bribe my kids with those. You, <laughs> you have to be good in order to get the little goodies. But also, too, it's going to save you. So make sure you stop at the grocery store before you actually do go to the airport because airport chips are probably like 5 to $7. And when you're traveling solo, it's like, eh, whatever. I'll buy my $5 bag of Doritos that has like 10 chips in it. But when you're traveling with kids, it's three of us. So if I'm buying three chips, that's like $15 there. And sometimes the airports are they charge seven dollars for um some chips so and plus we got favorite chips at home that they love my kids love seaweed so i do try to go the little healthy route um these are plantain chips kinder eggs and i try to pack those and my kids are satisfied so again i still try to pick snacks that will last you know through the car ride and also the plane ride if they eat all the snacks and before we return, I stop at a store um, at our destination and they have some snacks on the plane. So I also pack these card games. We love these card games. They're Crazy Eight, Old Maid, Memory. You can play this on the plane with your kids being quiet. And it also gives you the chance to interact with your kids as well and the matching game and slapjack i don't have to do slapjack on the plane but we love these cards even when we go out to eat it keeps my kids entertained we get off the phone we get off the ipad and these will do the trick and also too if you see if it feels like you're packing a lot of stuff i tend to throw some stuff in my son's book bag if he has more space and they just share that way. Maybe it's like one or two items, just so everything can fit, or I try to put it in their carry-on bag. And some chapter books for Amaya. I'll probably end up putting the rest of these in her carry-on bag because she's not gonna read all these on one plane, plane ride. But I'm just showing you guys what I do actually pack. And this right here is a safety card. This is what we call a safety card for your kid. So on this card, I have my child's information on it in case they get lost. I am a parent that likes to be prepared for the worst and I prepare my kids as well, especially when you're traveling solo. You have to learn how to talk to your kids. And also if your kids don't memorize your phone number, your address, your secondary parent that's not there. Safety cards are a great idea. So I like to put it on lanyard and a highlighter, highlighting paper. So people can see it if your kids are lost. I normally just tell them to put this around their neck when we're in the airport and I normally tuck it in their shirt or I put it in their pants pocket. But my kids always know they have this card. 
cards. And I always come up with a safety plan in case they get lost. Who do you go to? You know, obviously I tell them, try to find the authorities first. Um, so this card has my name on it, um, their aunt's name on it, their phone number, their contact information, also their dad's, and where we live in the United States. So you can potentially put any information you really want on this card that that would think that would um, get your child back to safely. Um, but overall, definitely have your number. I also put my business card in here, so I have my website and stuff like that because I actually don't like, because my kids are a little careless, so I don't like them just wearing this on their neck and then all my information is just showing while we're walking. So I just put my business card here, that's why it's kind of blocked here, if you can see. But it has their name and then my business card is right underneath there. So I find this really helpful and it makes me feel safe when I'm traveling. I actually have them wear it when we're at an amusement park because God knows amusement parks give moms anxiety. So they wear an amusement park through the airport and anytime we're traveling in the city, if we're at the hotel, I'm not going to make them wear it. But we always do like a little check like, where's your safety card? Make sure you have it on you. Um, and they know the game plan. So these things ease my anxiety so much. So I really advise parents to travel with a safety card if you can. Then I'm just going to put that in the bag because they're not here right now. So the kids were actually supposed to help me pack these bags, but Maya's not feeling well. So I was like, go to bed. Let's take a nap because we need all our energy for our trip. Um, we have building blocks too. These are fun. Um, Maya's little... I don't know what this is, but she packed some stuff up in here. Um, LOL Ed, another pack and go. And then I'm going to pack headphones, child headphones, um, because these are, what's the word? Um, they don't play as loud as normal headphones, which they won't hurt your child's ears if they're watching movies for a long period of time. So that's why I invest in child headphones made specifically for them. And also make sure you pack a, an adapter um, because my daughter does have an iPad and she needs this piece. Um, but if you're on the plane, then normally it's the regular headphone adapters. You don't need an, adapt an, an adapter. So that's what we pack. And then also I have these Gobi sleeves. I love these. I cannot travel without these. You can either just put them in your bag or it has a magnetic little thing over here. And these are covers for on the plane, which I'll show you guys on the plane how to use them. But it covers the, what is it? The, the plane trays because plane trays rarely get sanitized. So these things are lifesavers. You don't even have to touch or clean the tray yourself. You just slip it on. My kids play with it, all their activities in this bag, and it makes me feel good and less icky when I'm traveling. So this is what I have in Amaya's bag, and I'll show you now what I have in Cam's bag. I'll just kind of like unpack it since I already packed it. And again, Cam has his own sleeves here. Just pop them in, roll them up. So, familiar things Cameron has in his bag, except he's a boy, so he loves his little action figures. Here we go. Building blocks. These are his favorite snacks. Um, some, like, moon sand. I try not to let him play with this on the plane, though. Wherever we're traveling to, he can play with it there, but Cam is obsessed with sand. So, I always tell people, you know your kids better than you. So try to pack things that your kids really like to do, I mean, play with or, you know, um, that will entertain them. Because people ask me all the time, like, what should I pack for my kid? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know your kid. So make sure you get to know your child before you leave. And it's going to be a smoother travel, um, travel time. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. It's going to go a lot smoother when you are traveling. This thing's a little big. I try not to pack big toys. I'm actually thinking about taking this out, but 
I actually have my kids help me pack our entertainment bag, which also gets them excited for the trip. So I advise you guys to just have your kids help you. Like, what do you want in your entertainment bag on the plane? And it also, you know, lets them know what they, um, let them know that their favorite toys are in the bag. And they can have fun on the plane. So, I don't know, still think about it. It fits, but I'm going to have Cam try on his bag. And if it's too heavy, I'm has to go. Because we already have little Hot Wheel cars in here. And again, some Play-Doh. I'm packing Cameron's iPad. This is what actually makes his bag heavy. And again, I really hate to carry any bags for my kids. So they're, they're not the age where they can carry enough stuff for themselves. So I, I'd probably take this out. But here's the iPad. Make sure you download all your shows, movies before you get to the airport so they can watch their shows on the plane. So we're big Netflix and Disney people. So before we leave, we make sure we download these um, these shows because also too on a car ride when we get off the plane, if it's like an hour to our destination, this is what they're going to want to watch. And then again, just some more pack and goes. So same thing as Amaya really, but just a boy version. And here's his snacks too. Has his crayons in here and little hot wheel cars. So that's what we pack for entertainment bags. So if you guys have any questions on what to pack, or if you want to throw out what you guys actually do pack in your entertainment bag when you guys are on the plane or on the go, please share it, leave it in the comments. And I'm gonna share with you guys how we actually pack their carry-on bag now. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so now we are packing Amaya's carry-on bag. And I dread this part. I just hate packing for three people. That's why I also get the kids involved. They're so lucky they're not feeling well today. They would be in this video with me, packing away their stuff. So first things first, when I start to pack a carry-on, check-on bag, whatever it is, I pack every little outfit that I may want my kids or myself to wear. So I overpack. Um, and then as I'm packing, I take out the stuff that we don't really need and just want. And that's how I make everything fit. We are traveling for a five-day vacation, so my kids need at least five outfits. I definitely try to be anal about the days because I used to pack ten outfits for a five-day vacation. No, I literally have an outfit a day. I pack nightgowns, um, about like two or three, because um, I reuse them too. Um, and then also other more plain outfits as well for the return. And I also pack extra clothes for long sleeves, um, sweatshirts, just in case because we are going to the Caribbean, but you know, sometimes it gets cold at nighttime. Um, you can never predict the weather. So I always try to be prepared for the worst. And I try not to overpack because we are people that like to shop wherever we are. So if I'm missing something on my bag, we can go to the store. We love going to local stores. We like going to um, the markets and just shopping around. So wherever you travel to, you can always find something that you need. So don't be discouraged if you're like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm under packing. I'm pretty sure you can get something wherever you're traveling to, especially if you're traveling to a, another city. You're always going to be able to find um, whatever you're looking for there, especially clothes. Um, but just for kids, I try to just a little overpack just in case um, because certain destinations like undeveloped countries, they don't cater to kids as much. Um, so try to pack as much as you can if you are traveling to an undeveloped um, country. So some things that I always normally pack um, in preparation to traveling. Um, I always give my kids some vitamin C tablets um, just to get their immunity um, up while we're traveling because um, it is a lot on just an adult's body. So we're always trying to eat healthy right before vacation, keeping them hydrated, 
making them drink lots of water right before we leave is really important and I'm really on top of that on top of them for it like the whole week before vacation I saw them like you're not allowed to go on vacation if you're not drinking enough water or you're not taking some vitamin C tablets so I try to keep my kids really healthy because I tend to even get sick when I'm traveling and I'm not taking care of myself so make sure I'm um, taking care of these little humans as well I'm always gonna pack some off spray we're going to the Caribbean so at nighttime these mosquitoes love my kids and myself so I'm always packing this um, and any products we buy we try to make them family friendly so you can use this on all um, the kids and adults so that's one thing I try to always get um, a traveling product that the whole family can use rather than me buying a separate one and then also the kids and it just also costs them too much and like I said when you're traveling with kids expect the unexpected always prepare for the worst I bring some allergy medication especially you know if they're getting bit up by these mosquitoes and they're just really itchy or also too you don't know my kids have allergies sometimes like seasonal allergies so I'm always packing this and also some hydrocortisone just for mosquito bites my son has eczema as well so you want to pack for all your kids medical needs you can bring as much medication as you need to um, through the airport um, so you don't need a prescription or anything you're allowed to bring it so I make sure I bring all our skincare needs and medication for our kids so now let's actually get to packing now that I've told you how I actually prep um, for our carry-on bag. I love to use packing cubes. These are like amazing. These are lifesavers. These are actually mine. <laughs> I made uh, my own packing cubes with my name on them. They're called Miko Pack. They're available on my website actually. Um, but anyways, these are a lifesaver. You can just compact everything in there and it just presses everything. Also it helps um, with your clothes being less wrinkled and it just organizes things a lot better instead of trying to take all your clothes out of your bag if something's in the on the bottom of the bag you can see everything clearly through the mesh pack so i always roll my clothes i never fold them you just fit so much more and the thing i love about kids clothes is like this little itty bitty shirt is like so tiny so you can fit more things in your child's bag than probably your bag because my clothes are a little thick and that's why I also love traveling to the Caribbean because all our clothes are going to be super thin rather than traveling to a colder destination you have to pack layers and it's just like <laughs> I hate winter destinations cold destinations Although I do want to go to Iceland um, in the near future, I want to go see the Northern Lights. I think it's so beautiful. That's on my bucket list. So try to make it around the world. But yeah, we are a family that loves the beach, and I think the beach is just overall family friendly. Always something to do with the kids. You can never go wrong with water. We love being tan. So this is everything that's fitting in this packing cube. And like I said, see, you can see everything on top of the cubes. So when we are at our destination, I normally just take the cubes out and put them in the drawers, which I'll show you guys when we actually do arrive to our destination, how we unpack as well. But this is it. Probably use like two cubes in each carry-on and like I said since these clothes are super thin my daughter will probably end up having space in her carry-on bag which means I can place more of my clothes in her bag <laughs> so like I said we share a lot when we are traveling and then we don't have to take another big check-in bag I actually hate checking in a bag because we have to, I hate waiting, I hate waiting. So once you check in your bag, you have to wait to 
onboard the plane and then wait for them to deliver your bag. I'm just like, by the time you go through customs and et cetera, it's just like, it's too much. Don't want to do with it. So it's this. We go. I'm gonna place this here. These are the bags Maya's gonna bring. You can just put this on the side here or on top. I'll show you how I close the bag in a bit. Let's see. Do I need a large? I don't even need a large because mine doesn't even have that much clothes left to pack. This is a small packing cube. So I try to bring a lot of one pieces. Um, so I don't have to pack multiple shorts, multiple shirts. This is kind of thick. This is like a plain outfit for her. These are all her bathing suits. So we're just gonna scrunch that in here. So. Here we go. Super easy. These are just her bathing suits. Just throw these on top. And these are her sun's glasses. These are cams, are they? These are cams. I'm gonna do this for pins. Sad. And then that's it. So she has two packing cubes. And that's all she really needs. two cubes right here and that's that so she has this whole side that's actually available for use which I'll probably be putting another cube for my own personal use but I'm just going to add all her little flip flops and sandals here her water shoes so she has four pair of shoes here one water shoe and three flip flops she actually doesn't need all these flip flops, but Maya's a fashionista. Fashionista? Fashionista? Ah! You know, you know what I mean. And I'm going to pack her floaty. Um, and we love Polaroid. So I'll probably pack this in here or her actual entertainment bag. I'll let her decide. And I'll also see how my bag is looking like when I'm actually done packing this because like I said I can put like another packing cube right here. I also have my microfiber towels. I love these. Never travel without one. When you're going to a Caribbean destination, I'm not packing this floaty. Here's another thing. I don't want it. I'm like this is going to take up some space. She already has a floaty. We just throw it away. We don't need that. We don't need that. And I also pack some beach toys. So we have entertainment there sunglasses for her and I actually have a toiletry bag that I will be putting these actually in my bag so this is not going to go in here at the moment and like I said a package piece can still actually go on this but right now I haven't had my suitcase so I can't show you what that looks like but I will show you what it looks like with all the Maya stuff in here. And here we go. I'm just going to set this up. And this is Amaya's carry-on bag. And I love a four-wheel spinner because my kids can easily push the four-wheel spinner even if it is heavy, but this is actually not that heavy. Um, and my kids can help me out with all their luggage. And also too, I can add Amaya's backpack on here if I wanted to, and she can also push it, wheel it, when we are going through the airport. And this helps me out so much. She's able to help me now. <laughs> but there we go for Maya. Now, for Cam. And Cam has an awesome suitcase. He loves this suitcase. He wants to ride this suitcase even when he's not at the airport. He rides around the house. So this is his suitcase. I'll tag the suitcase van. This is it's so awesome. We love this suitcase. And it's fun. It makes her kids want to travel. 
My son is always like, when are we going on our next trip? I'm like, calm down. You'll get a chance to use your suitcase again. So let's move this out the way. And again, we're going to be using some packing cubes for Cam. I'm going to use a large. Like I said, I, don't, I like to try to just use two for the kids. So again, we're just going to fold it. Cam has a lot of two-piece sets, which make our life easier when we are traveling. So we're just going to roll these up. Try to keep the outfits together when I am traveling. I mean, packing. <laughs> Yeah, and sometimes I actually like, there's a bunch of these shirts, and I just like roll it in actual one whole ball. And it saves me some time too, so time and space. So here we are, getting it together, getting it together. Looking good, the pile is already going down. And can't find the top of it, but we're not packing that. This is nightgown. Nightgown. And again, Cameron has about five outfits with extra outfits. He has his five main outfits, daily outfits. We're going to be in a bathing suit most of the time. So that's how I just realized I'm over packing. But like when we're at the destination, we're, we're really in the pool all day long in our bathing suits we're not changing five outfits a day you know so definitely pack only five main outfits and then extra clothes in case it's cold at night time here we are this. and i actually like this suitcase because it's really spacious and i think i can do this and then i can put a small um, packing cube right here and again he's gonna have all of this space left which I'm probably gonna add my stuff in here or I'll probably put my like cameras in here um, but I'm always doing extra space when I'm packing with kids which I love and I'm so happy that they're able to take on their own carry-on bags now um, because not gonna lie, it, it was a little challenging when I would just try to bring one carry-on for three people. It was a lot. So now that they're able to carry their own bag, make my life easier. I love it here. And this is it. We are done. Look at this. So I have, I even have room in this. Um, packing cube I like to pack them all the way up like really tight so things don't move around put his sunglasses in here so they don't break um so I'm just gonna put his flip flops in here so here we are with this and look there's still extra room in this packing cube but it's okay we're going to just pack that away here and this also has some straps that you can even secure it. So let's secure these bags because we don't want to move it around, especially since Cameron will be riding this and he's a reckless little driver. Oh, he also has, so I always travel with Cam, his, um, his water vest. Just because Cam doesn't know how to swim, and this just makes him feel a lot safer. So whatever packing cube I put under this, I will put this on top of this, strap these up, and then literally ready to go. So, yeah, this is how I pack Cam's and my suitcase. It was that easy. I'm gonna put this on here, and I'll share with you guys how I pack for myself 
And then if I need to put anything extra, again, I'm going to be putting it in these kids' little bags. Because thank God they don't need as much space as me and I love to change. <laughs> so let's get to packing my bag. We almost done packing. I'm almost done packing. Now, finally, I'm about to pack my suitcase for myself. Oh my gosh. It's been like, literally, I don't know when I started. It's, it's one in the morning. I started at 10 at night. So you yeah, three hours. But also I'm recording this for you. So normally it doesn't take me this, this long, but I'm tired. I want to go to bed. But anyways, I want to share with you the luggage that I actually take when I travel all around the world. I love July Luggage Company. It is amazing. I actually just opened up this box right here because they have a lifetime warranty for if your suitcase is ever damaged, you just need a new one. Um, you just gotta send the proof in. So like I said, I'm a carry-on person and I had my luggage for quite some time and I finally checked my bag in because I had to. I bought a, um, one of those low fare airfare tickets. So annoying, never again. And I had to check my bag in. And the one time I checked my bag in, my suitcase is damaged. So it got cracked and I was like, oh, what's going on? But thanks to July, I got a new suitcase. <laughs> so I'm just gonna open it up with you guys. First off, it's just pure luxury. Comes in this nice slip here. I might actually just travel with this. If I ever have to check it back in, I might just even use this so my luggage doesn't get damaged on the outside, no scratches or anything. I love 360 wheel spinners because you can push it anyway and it just smooth, smooth, uh, smooth smoothly. Um, it also has a lock right here you can make up your own code which I love and also an adjustable um, whatever you call this here handle adjustable handle has different stages you know and they lock on each stage um, and here's my favorite part it actually has a charger on the suitcase and you can pretty much charge anything it has four ports here one is to charge, um, charge the battery actually. Um, this actually pops out, I have to show you guys later. I have long nails, so it's a little hard to pop out. But I have a portable charger here. You can um, charge your iPhone, it has an updated um, iPhone charger, the normal USB port. So you can charge a lot here. And the battery power on this is actually really long. Um, and even when I'm not traveling, I actually take the, the portable charger out and I use it on the plane and etc. But it, it lasts me literally all day and I can charge multiple devices on this. So that's my favorite feature about the July luggage. Um, and then let's open it. It's very spacious. I love the hard shell cover. And so it has a netting here. And I'm going to open this up. So, have that. And I love suitcases that have straps because I love to secure all my luggage so nothing moves around. And you can leave this in here or take that out. And it also has a laundry bag here for any sort of clothes, which I actually like using, especially when I'm at a beach destination and I have a late checkout, have some wet clothes, I'm going to use that laundry bag. But overall, I love July suitcase, it's the best. And like I said, that lifetime warranty is amazing. Um, so it's a good price point for this luggage, um, especially if you're a traveler like me. I use this suitcase more than once a month and I'm lugging it through country, dirt roads, um, roads that aren't even paved and a lifetime warranty is 
something that you need if you're going to travel frequently um because it will save you from buying multiple luggages that cost over a hundred dollars um so invest into a good luggage brand and again this is july and i'm going to show you guys how i finally pack so it took me a while for me i always pack last because i know i pack multiple outfits and i pack a lot of wants more than needs so it's really hard for me to pack for myself but uh, here we are finally all my stuff um and of course I have some packing cubes as well. So, let's see. So, so, let me get all my clothes here. Here we are. And of course, I'm going to use my packing cubes um, and here we are so again I'm going to roll not fold I'm just gonna roll away roll our life away into a little packing cube and again my clothes are actually really thin because they're summertime clothes where I love beach destinations, I can pack more that I don't actually need. And I'm actually not as much as a fascination, fascination when I'm traveling with my kids because kids are honestly disrespectful. Like, I want to wear a good pair of shoes and I really can't because my kids be stepping on my shoes. So I just pack two decent shoes mostly, most of the time. And I just go from there because kids do not care. They don't care. So, and also they make messes. They might spill it on you. So I might just pack like two good outfits that I might really want to take a picture in. The rest, I'm packing bathing suits because kids are just They really are. And I know my kids. Like I said, before you travel, get to know your kids. Take them out. I love to take my kids out to eat because i love to go out to eat and some of my friends just don't want to go out to eat so i'm taking my kids i'm not staying in the house i'm not a homebody so yeah i'm going out with my kids there's a lot of practice in going out locally with their kids to see how you are traveling with them solo so i definitely encourage everyone to travel as much as you can solo around locally take a staycation Literally, literally a vacation. Before I travel internationally with my kids, I rent, not rented. I booked a hotel. Here you go. I booked a hotel um, just to stay away um, in Connecticut. Um, drove with them to see how it went with them. And also, I didn't learn just things about my kids, but I learned things about me when I was traveling with my kids. So I learned that I needed more patience if I was going to take them on a trip, especially traveling on a plane. So I learned things like me leaving earlier. So I didn't feel I needed to rush when I am traveling because that's one thing. If I'm running late, I do not have patience. I'm freaking out. So I always try to give myself enough Time when I have to be somewhere now so I don't have to rush my kids and I'm not yelling at them and it's just easier on me so those are just little things I've learned when I took local staycations um, just about myself so highly encourage that if you want to start to travel with your kids start traveling now in your own city and then you can also see what they like what they dislike um, I always try to wear my kids out before play rides. Um, so even though I pack those entertainment bags, half the time my kids are knocked out an hour in, 30 minutes into the flight. So yeah, they're just, they don't even need their entertainment bag half the time. But like I said, once we get off the plane, 
and we're going into the car ride. If it's a 30 minute hour ride, whatever it is, they use that entertainment bag. So it's, it's really handy. So I'm always packing entertainment bags, even if they're watching their iPad most of the time or regardless. Um, I just lost my train of thought. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is, but yeah, I get the point. Get to know yourself, get to know your kids. Practice makes perfect. Kids change all the time. So what I was packing for my kids when they were an itty bitty baby has now changed. Um, and yeah, we're we're done. So I packed two um, two carry-ons, but I mean not two carry-ons, two um, packing cubes. But like I said, I pack a lot for myself, so I'm actually going to use three. There we are. These are all my bathing suits and whatnot. Ooh. I guess I need this. Okay. I'm gonna put that in there. These are a little thicker. These are jeans. I don't even really fold them sometimes. I just place them on top. There we go. Like this. This is my friend's swimsuit, swimsuit, swimsuit line. And I can't wait to show you guys the swimsuit she made for me. Actually, I'll just show you guys now. I love it. It's so cute. But look at it. It has all these ripples in it. And a little splash of color so I'm excited to show you guys that um, so stay tuned for that when I'm on vacation and we're going to zipper this up so like I said if all these um, these cubes don't fit in this bag I am going to put it in so, let's put that here. So we can put two cubes here. I have to loosen this up. I didn't loosen this up yet. Again, this is a brand new suitcase. But everything's going to be nice and secure. And then that's that. Let me also get my shoes. So I'm blowing my, getting my hair dryer and this. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to zipper this up. bag which I already packed I just want to show you some cool little things that I like to pack I love shampoo bars and conditioners body wash this saves me so much space when you travel with a shampoo bar shampoo conditioner this is by Brixie really cool it's really hydrating too whether it's the shampoo or conditioner so I love it and again safe on the kids and also family use I mean adult <laughs> whatever but I love these save me a lot of space and a lot of transferring from bottles so my curl creams 
I, again, I don't like to check a bag in. So I just normally just transfer any curl creams, gels, lotions that I want to take on my trip. I transfer into a travel size bottle and I try to bring enough on, uh, enough for my entire trip. And again, if, if I run out, I find a pharmacy over there and just get some, some more. So, but I rarely ever have to um, stock back up because like I said, I put enough in here for my entire trip and I'm pretty much good. And then I don't have to worry about um, purchasing an expensive check on check and bag there and back just to take this seven ounce um, container in my bag when I can just put a, um, so uh, you need a 3.4 ounce or less um, to be in your carry-on bag. So just make sure it's under 3.4 ounces and you're good to go. Um, but yeah, I reopen up my suitcase because like I said, my son has extra space for me. Thank you, Cam. Thanks for being such a small little boy. So I'm going to trade my, um, my cubes to his because I have to pack my camera equipment and he's going to be rolling around and I don't really want my camera equipment rolling around in his bag too. So I'm just going to place them right here in my suitcase. It should stay for that way. And also to my toiletries. I'll probably put that in a camp bag. Um, and I'm going to pack this underwater, not underwater, it's a waterproof um, bag, and I love it. It's also sandproof too, so I love bringing it to the beach. I'll show you guys this on vacation. But there it is. I'm finally done packing. This still fits on top, or I can put it here um, on top of my bag. So either way, it works. So I'm really satisfied on the way I packed. Um, I hope you guys learned something out of this. Um, it really takes a while to get a good packing habit and it's just like a bunch of trial and error what works for you what doesn't work for your kids some people are more maintenance than others um i'm not as um, high maintenance when i'm traveling with my kids but when i'm solo like i said i i love to bring outfits heels boots whatever all of it so i need a lot of space um i'm more pickier what i wear when i'm not with them so it just takes a lot of practice um, to just be a carry-on only type traveler, but it is possible. I have faith in you guys. Let me know if you guys are team carry-on or team check-in bag. Even if I did check a bag in, I would probably pack the same way almost, um, but just a little extra more stuff that I probably won't even use on my vacation. But it's always cool to have options, or if I do do a check-in bag, I'm probably planning to bring some clothes back or souvenirs um, on the way back. So, yeah, this is how I pack. Let me know um, if you guys are looking for any new travel gears. I can share my, um, my favorite travel gears that I use to travel. Um, also, just like I said, my luggage. I love July Company. Um, but also share with me too, write in the comments uh, your favorite um, travel gears to use while you're traveling because I'm always looking for the next best travel tip, travel hack, um, item to use while on the go that makes my life easier and my kids life easier while we're on the go. So thanks guys for watching and subscribe for more uh, videos, travel tips with kids, and I can't wait to show you our time in the Dominican Republic. We're going to have such a great time. So, subscribe, and we will be coming out with more travel tips, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>